Hi, my name is Emily. I'm 23 years old. And when I had just turned 21, I got double jaw surgery. This first video is a chat to camera I did about two years ago. I was just about to get braces and I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions because I finally decided that I'm actually doing this. And I was a little bit terrified, a little bit excited, a little bit in between. It's a bit of everything. It is the, what's today? The 27th of January, 2018. And I get my braces on the 7th of February. Wait, it's not 2018, it's 2019 now. So I'm gonna be doing that. I've gotta get my teeth fixed because my jaw is just annoying. It doesn't bite correctly. So like, I can't actually chomp down on food, particularly like sandwiches and burgers or anything really, really thin. Like the lettuce will just, won't actually be broken in half. There's that, and then there's also wearing down one side of my mouth more over time and then that creating complications later down the track that I just don't want to have to deal with. I've been advised by my dentist and my orthodontist, two different orthodontists, have told me that I've got to get this done, not for cosmetic reasons. I feel weird changing the way, changing the way I look for cosmetic reasons. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And I don't know how I felt for a long time. I have been aware of the fact that I'm going to need some kind of dental treatment, whether it's just braces, surgery and braces, or something else that they'll pull out of the bag, because I got told that I might need to do this when I was like 11, I think. And I remember walking out of the dentist just like crying, because I was like, I don't want to have surgery. I don't want to do that. I still don't want to have surgery. I still don't want to do that, but I've just come to terms with it. I'm kind of going into it like blinded at the moment. I'm just, I'm just like not even fully aware of the fact that I'm getting braces in a week and a half and in a year I'll be getting surgery and then I'll be sucking liquid food through a straw for a month. But I guess how can you really prepare yourself for that, you know? I don't, I don't really know. I've been watching a couple of videos that other people have done on YouTube about double jaw surgery and I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look pretty, doesn't look fun. And I've also been kind of scared about the results. I don't know whether I'm going, I mean, everyone tells me, you know, they're not gonna make you look worse, you're gonna look better afterwards. And I hope that's the case, but if I, if I come out of it and I'm like, whoa, I don't even recognize myself, maybe I won't like that, but I'm sure I'll just get used to it. You have identity changes all the time. I'm kind of numb at the moment. And I know that it's gonna be like halfway through the year, I'm almost gonna be getting ready for surgery and it's just gonna be like, okay, well, this happened, that happened, all of a sudden I'm done, you know, which is great because life moves on and 20 years from now, I'll just be looking at it and going, that was, you know, something of the past. Like, wow, it took up a lot of my time, but it's done and I'm happy with my bite and I don't have any issues. I don't have teeth falling out. I mean, these are all pros. Gotta focus on the pros. Then we have the cons. You know, you might lose feeling that may never come back, which I don't like the sound of at all. And I don't think anyone would. I've kind of just been telling myself that that's not going to happen to me. It's something like a seven to 10% chance that you'll lose some kind of feeling permanently because there's one nerve that goes through that jaw and obviously they're cutting this bottom jaw and my top jaw and they'll be doing a lot of nerve damage basically. So let's just hope that my body is one of those ones that repairs itself entirely and we don't even have to think about that. So I'm not thinking about that. I'm just going to go into it and I'm going to tell myself I'm not going to be one of those people that lose feeling because that can't be fun. But at the same time, I get told if you do lose feeling, it's just going to be like one area of your mouth and then you can't tell that you've got a bit of food there, which grosses me out because I'm really weird about that stuff. But I guess I'll just have to live with that. Mm. I'm 20. I just turned 20. And getting braces at 20 sucks because everyone else has already had braces and their teeth look amazing and, you know, they don't have to smile with metal in their mouth. It's shitty. It's 
probably going to mess with my self-confidence a little bit at the start but it's good personal development because I know that I'm still the same person with my braces and everyone's gonna probably you know the first time be like huh you got braces now uh, they'll be telling me you got braces and I'll be like yeah I know I got braces thanks for informing me <laughs> no it's cool but once everyone in your immediate circle realizes you got braces now and then you identify as someone with braces it'll just like be nothing I reckon I reckon I always say like situations are only made to be that way because you make them that way I was supposed to sound like profound but it just didn't make much sense so 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 <laughs> I'm going into third year uni I've got a smile at people all day with my teeth although I don't know you can check out my teeth they're not like I mean they're pretty crooked they're pretty bloody crooked but like the sides aren't that bad they're pretty straight and they reckon they might be taking a couple of teeth out like these two yeah that one and I don't like I don't like that either but pff, compared to the surgery it's nothing so We'll just see one day time, my thing, and do it. They told me that it might make my nose like that. I mean, that's not attractive. Oh well. That and a little bit up. How do we do this? This is hard. Whoa, I didn't mean to give you guys the finger. I mean, I mean, I mean, we. <laughs> I mean, you can't. You can't, maybe it'll be, whoa, that's kind of weird. Mmm, I don't like the way it makes, yeah, I'll just get used to it. It's shitty, it's a shitty situation, but there are definitely shittier situations. I'm just going to make sure I've got a lot of TV, a lot of stuff to watch when I'm going through the surgery, and when I'm doing the braces, the only thing that really stops me from doing is like going away for more than five weeks, which I'm not planning on doing anyway, because... Um, I can't really afford it, don't really like, no, can't, gotta plan all that. So, I'm going to do that after I've got my braces off, and um, yeah, yeah. I feel nervous, excited, I am excited because finally I've made a decision about this whole thing, and I think that's the main thing. If you're someone who's thinking about getting jaw surgery, I reckon just making the decision whether to do it or not is the hardest part and once you've decided I'm gonna do this you can just get on with your life and it's like okay this is what's happening this is gonna happen to me I'm gonna continue my life and this stuff will be done by other people because that's what kind of tormented me for the past two years I've been like putting it off thinking about do I actually want to do it do I just want to get braces and like kind of like straighten my teeth a little bit but it'll open my, my my bite even more it won't actually fix the issue and just kind of going okay yes I'm doing this making the decision and no longer having to think about whether or not I'm doing this has just been like oh. <sighs> because it took up a lot of my time and I was just constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do this. The funny thing is, in like the past six months to a year, I've actually become a lot more like just at ease with how my smile looks. <laughs> I used to hate it. It used to really bug me and I used to always smile like that. That doesn't look too happy. <laughs> I was happy, but I didn't look happy in photos. I'm looking forward to just being able to smile whenever I want, but at the same time, in the past six months, I've kind of just been doing that anyway, which is really, really nice. And I, I love that I've just, I'm starting to just accept the way I look and the way that my smile looks. But I'm doing this for functional reasons because my bite doesn't, it's just shit. It's just like, no, it's not good, okay? So even even though I'm starting to become comfortable with it, it's about to change. And I don't know whether whether that's that's why I'm comfortable with it, is because I know it's no longer permanent and it's just this temporary thing and I'm just gonna live with it and it's gonna change eventually. Maybe that's why I'm comfortable with it. I don't know. Nonetheless, it's been really nice to just 
smile. And I go through I go through periods where like I'll see myself in the mirror smiling and I'll be like, oh Jesus Christ, that looks disgusting. And then other times I'm like, it doesn't bother me at all. I actually quite like the way it looks. I even think like it gives me character. How often do you see people walking around these days my age that are got crooked ass teeth? I mean, it's not it's not that common. Everybody gets braces these days. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't know. But I'm gonna get them. So there. Hopefully it's a good thing. I know that there are a lot of people out there having jaw surgery now or thinking about having it and want to know more. So I decided to share my own story because I remember how much I benefited from being able to hear about the jaw surgery experience in a more personal way. If you'd like to watch more of this video series or just a chance to find some entertainment via my suffering, then make sure to like, subscribe, smash that like button, share all the YouTube things and I'll see you next time when I get them train tracks put on my teeth. <laughs> Ta-ta for now.